Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Keo and today we're talking about this guy right here. This is the La Marzocco Linea Micra or Micra. It's actually Micra, but we're going to call it Micra for this video. And if you want to know why, I'm going to talk about it at the end of the video. But for now, I just want to tell you a bit about this machine that um, we borrowed. So I actually have been testing it and haven't been able to test it quite as much as I'd like to. And that brings us to the disclosures. We don't own this machine. It was lent to us by Yardstick Coffee. I am an ambassador of Yardstick Coffee Club. And part of our agreement is that I can talk about the coffee. I can talk about the equipment that they lend me. Um, but I'm allowed to say anything that I want, if I like it, if I don't like it, what I do, what I don't like about it. As an ambassador, I do recommend that you do try Yardstick Coffee Club. Uh, there are a lot of other benefits to it, but that is why they sent this to me so I could make a reel for them on Instagram. They have no editorial review over the reel or over this review that I'm doing now. It just, I happen to get it in the studio for about a week, but I think I've used it enough to give a, a good review and a pretty good idea of what I think of this machine. Off the bat, you should know that this is over 200,000 pesos, 220 something thousand pesos on the Yardstick website. It's about 100,000 cheaper than the Big Brother, the previous model that will kind of fill this space in the in the lineup, the Linea Mini. Now, unlike the Linea Mini, the Linea Micra can't make quite as many cups of coffee. It has a slightly smaller boiler. And while the Mini can, you know, do 20, 25 cups back to back, the Micra only does about six or seven. So you are getting nine bars all the time. Uh, from this machine no matter what but what you'll experience is that the temperature might drop a little bit once you get past that six or seven cup just knowing that in metro manila a lot of cafes serve maybe 25 in the entire day right and that means that they're serving maybe three in the morning three in the afternoon with that in mind can you use this for a very small cafe serving 20 cups a day you probably can now what are you getting when you're you know putting out the money to get a linea micra well, other espresso machines can do a lot of the same things that it does. A lot of other espresso machines even have more bells and whistles. In terms of features, the features of this machine are very traditional. Now the brew boiler is integrated, which means that it's connected through the group head, which is great because that means that the temperature in the group head is your brew temperature. And that means that when you flip it on, you're getting exactly the right temperature and the right pressure every time. But in terms of features, that's pretty much it. It boots up really fast, five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, including the steam boiler. It has app connectivity, so you can program it using the app. You can have it boot up at a specific time every day and you can set it per day. So we actually use that auto boot up function in our cafe for our La Marzocco Strada and it boots up every day at 5.30 a.m. so that the barista comes in at six and it's already at temperature. You can do that with this and you can program it per day with the strata it's one time every day if you're closed on sunday it's still turning on on sunday but on this machine you can set it for different times on different days maybe you wake up later on the weekends you want it to boot up later you can do that it also has pre-brewing uh, which is different from pre-infusion pre-brewing is it just turns on the pump and flows water in uh, using the pump pressure so at nine bars pre-infusion means that it goes in at line pressure Line pressure is a pressure at which the water is connected if it's plumbed in. Now this machine does have the option for plumbing in. I haven't figured out how uh, because I've only had it for a couple days, but it is in the app. You can set it up for plumbing in. And if you do set it up for plumbing in, then you can get that extra bonus feature, which is pre-infusion. In terms of coffee, the coffee is just, they taste great. They taste like classic uh, Lomarzoco linear shots they are the same every time <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that in fact that is the beauty of a lumber zoko machine is that it's the same every time every machine every year that's what you get with this you know you can get a machine that will make espresso yes for a lot less yes will you wake up every day feeling like you're driving a lamborghini no with this yeah <laughs> much more sophisticated uh, parts, a lot more hand building goes into this. Every Lumber Zoko machine is hand built. And then just the styling, you have that beautiful classic, uh, uh, classic look. Honestly, if you wanted to do espresso at home and you didn't want the hobby uh, side of it, 
this is a perfect example, right? You just grind your coffee, get your calibration, and you're not thinking about too many things along the way. You're thinking about just the right amount of things along the way. Now, if you don't want to use that automatic boot up time on the app, you can also boot it up remotely. So I've actually experienced this where I was on the way to the studio. I knew I wanted to use the machine when I was about 10 minutes away or five minutes away um, on the road. I just opened the app and turned it on and it booted up. And when I got here, it was that temperature. The steam temperature is ready to go. That was a really cool feature. I really enjoyed that. Um, but you don't have to be on the road. If this is in your home, you could do that from your bed, right? From your, from your bathroom. Like when you wake up, you're brushing your teeth. Oh, I should turn on my machine. Yeah, you can do that. Now I will say, if you are going to go ahead and buy a Lumberzoka Micra, you won't regret it. This is a great piece of machinery. It's going to last you forever. It's going to make great coffees, cup after cup. It's not, you know, rolling on some fad that's going to go out of style um, because it has that app connectivity and it has that smarts. There might be an upgrade path in the future for this machine. And those are things that I really love about it. The coffee that comes out of it tastes the same as my, as my Strata. Um, and we paid, what is it? 700,000 pesos for the Strata. So just to give you an idea, there is a big difference between the size, but in terms of the performance, it's really just that cup count that you're looking at. Now, in terms of the build of the machine, it's smaller than any other Lumberzoka machine you've ever seen. And because it doesn't have an exposed group head, it, it's inside this box. Um, you do lose a lot in terms of like the accessibility in, ter in terms of height. The steam wand, it has this bend in it. And because of that bend, the maximum amount that you can put in, you know, in terms of a pitcher is only this much. And we have a lot of pitchers here. I can only really use one of them unless I was making a very big latte and I used a bigger a uh, bigger pitcher, even the pitcher that comes with it, I find is a little bit too deep for the amount of milk that you're going to steam for a cappuccino. So that's a challenge, but if you're making lattes, then this is, this is satisfactory. Just note that you might need a different uh, pitcher for it. Now the Lumberzoco Micra comes with this portafilter. It's a convertible portafilter. Now it goes in there and when it's at that height, it's easy to take a cup and stick it in so there's enough clearance when it's in this bottomless portafilter mode as i mentioned it is a convertible portafilter which means that this thing is bottomless now but you can take one of the provided adapters and convert it into a double so it's a double spout portafilter for if you want to drip out into two separate cups Personally, I didn't use it for the whole time. I used it once for testing, but for the most part, I found it to be a little bit too low in terms of the clearance. Like the cups won't go straight in. You kind of have to play with them and tilt them to get them in, and this one won't even fit. You know, bottomless portafilters filters are one of the best ways to improve your, your technique in terms of distribution and tamping. If you see that the stream of espresso is coming out cleanly from all sides, it's something to pay attention to and you can improve your craft through that one feedback. Now, it might be messy every once in a while and you might want to put back those spouts if you don't want to be cleaning up all the time. But in terms of becoming a better uh, espresso barista, uh, that's something that you might want to look at. Now, Lamarzoko says that this, that this part builder will last a really long time. That's yet to be seen. Um, we haven't had this very long. It'll be interesting to see if this makes it to the commercial machines. Uh, we did try it. It is a standard port to filter. It fits in our machine. Now the port to filter, it's okay. It, it's not groundbreaking. It is groundbreaking in that it's new. No one's ever done it, but it, it doesn't do anything particularly special except for not needing more port to filters. You don't have like port to filters stored under your counter that you're not using. Instead, you just have one portafilter handle, you change the basket for single, you change it for double, or you change the bottom cap if you want it to be, you know, exposed naked without any spouts or to be single or double. And uh, if you have a specific use why you want to do that, then go ahead and do it. Um, the nice thing about it is that it does heat up uh, very quickly, unlike metal. So in, in metal, you have more thermal mass. And similar to the way you see with V60s, the plastic ones also heat up much faster and retain heat much faster. Now the plastic won't survive 
all of the action of in and out of an espresso machine, but having the top part be metal and the bottom part be plastic is a nice workaround for that. So those are kind of all of my thoughts on the Lamarzoco Micra. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section down below. I have enjoyed using it. I am kind of sad to be sending it back, although I have had it a little bit longer than I was supposed to have it. It is really a gorgeous machine. Uh, I love the color that they, co they come in many colors. The yellow, as you can see, is gorgeous. Uh, it comes in white, in the classic silver. I think they have a baby blue or a powder blue. So a lot of options that you can get to match your kitchen, to match your home. Now, I am being a little bit facetious in saying that there are no bells and whistles. If you open this up, there are a lot of technological things that they've done. You know, there are a lot of other features that are in the app, but all of that has been obscured. All of it has kind of been hidden and put inside the machine for you not to be able to see. It just works. It just works. And it works great every single time. And so if you're asking me what you're doing, why are you getting this specific machine? Why are you paying that extra premium for this machine, the Lamarzoco Linea Micra? You are paying a premium because it's premium. I'm not oversimplifying it with that. That's really what you're doing. You are getting yourself a hand-built, built in Italy, sports car of an espresso machine when you are getting one of these. It is 100% fun and it is 100% hand-built pure machine engineering. So that's all I have to say on my review of the Linea Micra, except that I've been saying it Micra this whole time. I know that it's the Micra, but I did notice that a lot of the uh, subtitles in other YouTube videos were spelling Micra with a K and Micra with a C. And I wanted to try and get better YouTube uh, viewership because that matters to us. So. <laughs> If you'd like to help us um, do better with this algorithm, please do click the, the like button and the thumbs up. That's the same button, the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts. My name is Keo. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.